Here's a sample progression looking at hip shoulder separation. Now really when people say hip shoulder separation, they're talking about the dissociation between the pelvis and the trunk. Really there's both a mobility side of the equation, but there's also a skill side. It's the timing and sequencing as well. So we're gonna start with a soft roll pattern. You're teaching the spine to move segmentally. You're relaxing the upper half, using the lower half as the driver, allowing the upper half to unfold. And you're basically teaching the spine to, to work segment by segment. So you can do this both starting from the lower half and also starting from the upper half where the opposite arm leads the way. This is a quadruped T-spine rotation. Sit back into the heels using a band can help assist this movement and just isolate that movement towards the mid upper back. Again, this is a critical piece for the actual mobility to dissociate the pelvis from the trunk when it comes to your throwing. And then here's an additional one. This is the dissociation trunk twist. All we're doing here is trying to feel that wave of energy flow through the body instead of just doing kind of a robotic trunk twist. Let the hips drive the movement. Let that rotation from the pelvis drive the movement. Feel like there's a tornado of energy winding its way from the ground through the hips into the upper half. So now we can add a little bit of power on top of that with the Swiss ball, essentially we're taking the arms out of the equation, hugging a Swiss ball around uh, a rope and the weight, the 20, 30, 40 pounds on the cable column band, or in this case, a Kaiser machine is holding the upper half back while the hips are actually free to rotate underneath you. So it really encourages that dissociation to occur naturally without having to cue it, without having to focus on it. Here's another variation of that. This way, we're gonna start in kind of a reverse kneeling position, opposite leg forward, rotate and fire. And again, we're really just thinking about throwing the hips and starting in this counter rotated position can really help encourage that dissociation between the trunk and the pelvis to occur. Now we're getting to the actual uh, skill specific throwing specific drills. This is a rhythm rocker drill, really just focusing on feeling that tornado of energy work its way from the ground up through the pelvis, through the trunk. So adding a little bit of a coil, a little bit of a turn can work for a lot of guys here. This is not a drill we'll prescribe to everybody, but this can be a really a beneficial one. Again, feeling that counter rotation, that turn, keeping the front side closed, and then letting the energy unwind its way from the pelvis segmentally up through the body. Again, just like in the dissociation trunk twists, just like in the soft rolling exercises. This would be a drop step uh, done off the mound. This can also be done off flat ground. Just starting in more of a counter rotated position with the pelvis can help guys feel what it's like to actually be closed off and emphasize that rotational element. This would be a rotational step back. We're trying to allow the hips to hold closed, but then pop open ahead of the upper half without the upper half flying open. So we can actually bias that with kind of this preload, this pre-swing of that back leg, start with the hips fully open, close them fully off, get them open again while keeping the upper half closed. That initial leg swing, that preload, really, really helpful. It's gonna feel natural, fluid, and really sink in for a lot of guys. This is one of our favorite variations uh, for teaching hip shoulder separation and just that smooth, fluid transfer of energy from the, from the lower half. This is not a one size fits all prescription. It's gonna be different for every player that we work with, but go ahead, play with some of these things. Uh, if you're a coach, which of these different movements might apply to some of your guys? Let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks again.